In 1968, Koenigse became the first permanent artificially refrigerated sliding track. Nearly five decades later, through renovation and innovation, it has maintained its place among the greatest winter sports venues in the world. There are all the sliding sports here in Koenigse, that means two men, four men bobsleigh, women bobsleigh, skeleton men and women, and luge, single men, single women, and also doubles. In the lower part, they use exactly the same, but the start levels are different. Our track here has 16 corners. We have a maximum speed around 130 kilometers per hour, and the G-force is uh, around 5G, a little bit below 5G. In order for athletes to reach these speeds and G-forces, the track must be kept at an optimum temperature. Whilst keeping the quality of the ice consistent is the main priority of the track team. The temperature is very important for the sliding sport. Also, the, the athletes are very interested in this, and so, especially for the races and for the training, they want to find out a good setup, and it depends from the temperature of ice. So ice conditions are very important. We have a staff with uh, 14, 15 track workers, say preparing the track all day, spraying water on around 1,000 liter per track preparation. We do five or six times preparation a day, that means 6,000 or 7,000 liters of water. We have a very good refrigeration system. It's very energy efficient. We can make a really good rain setup and set up for for dry air conditions or for very wet conditions or in case it's very warm, we have a lot of electrical power. So we can, we have to spend around 600,000 kW per hour for just for refrigeration. We have the possibility to, to use the internet everywhere. I have internet connection also with my smartphone. I can check it, check the temperatures, uh, give more power to the refrigeration or whatever it's necessary.